Welcome to School AI. First off, I'm going to talk just a little bit about what School AI is and how it can help you as a teacher in the classroom. School AI is an education-centered artificial intelligence environment um, based on the use of carefully crafted chatbots or spaces, and it provides you the ability to create customized chat experiences for your students. The Artificial intelligence behind School AI is based on ChatGPT, but unlike ChatGPT, it provides um, fences, it provides uh, limits and boundaries based upon an educational environment with students. And unlike ChatGPT, there is persistence to what it does. If you create a chatbot or a space within School AI, you can return to that and you can use it over and over again with your students. It also does not require you to have chat GPT open with a prompt for every single one of your students in order for an entire classroom to interact individually with any chatbot or space that you create. And you as a teacher also can monitor um, the students use of those chatbots or spaces that you create. You as the educator, you use a very simple interface in School AI to create a persistent chatbot for your students to use. Your students, however, do not need to have a School AI account in order to interact with the chatbots or spaces that you create. You share them with them, they simply put in their name and they enter into that um, safe environment in order to interact in the ways in which you want your students to interact with artificial intelligence. The AI in school, AI provides you the ability to provide your students with virtual interactions in many ways in school AI, including creation of or use of virtual interactions with story characters, um, content area experts and tutors, as well as historical figures. School AI can provide you also as a teacher with educational assistance in lesson planning, classroom management, and a lot more. So getting into a School AI account, there is a free account available for all educators to use. That said, Tulare County Office of Education has a paid version of it that is available for our contracting schools teachers. Um, you do not have to wait for an invitation from us in order to create your account. Um, after we have provided you an invite, um, you will automatically, if you are using the same Google account, you will automatically get tied in to those additional bells and whistles and features that we have paid for you to have access to. To create a School AI account, simply go to app.schoolai.com and then log in with a Google account. So you're going to click on the Login with Google button and utilize your campus provided Google account. Click continue after that to sign in to School AI. It will ask you the very first time you enter into creation of a School AI account to create a profile. What you'll do first and foremost is search for your campus. So if when typing in your campus, you do not see it listed, that's okay, it's not a big deal. Um, simply click on the I don't see my school checkbox and then type in your campus name as well as the address. Choose your role and then agree to the terms of service and then simply click done. After you have created a school AI account, you're going to land on this, which is the launch pad. So from here, what I'm going to do is exit out and go into my school AI, as you can see. This looks just like what was on that preview page. The launch pad, you can think of it as the School AI homepage or the dashboard. This is a launch point to get you into the resources. Now, you'll notice there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, right off the bat, they talk about a sidekick, which is a chatbot that you can create to do any number of purposes with your students. Um, there is a space, which is very much a chatbot driven space provided by you for your students to interact with. Um, you have all of these different spaces down here, uh, and they highlight from time to time on school AI 
different kinds of spaces. So you can see right now it's the beginning of the school year when I recorded this. And so you see back to school. Um, there is also school AI professional development to learn more about um, school AI and its spaces and how to generate materials um, throughout the school year to get you ready for the upcoming school year. Below that is a listing of recent sessions. So as you create um, your psychics, or if you create spaces, you will see these listed down below. So you can click on them and return to them anytime you want. Also on the right-hand side, you see a listing of three different tools, lesson plans, worksheets, class newsletters, and then a launch point to see all of the tools that are available for you through School AI. Below that, you see assistance with three of them highlighted and a link to see all assistance. There is a listing of resources, the knowledge-based community and School AI users, um, joining the sandbox, becoming an insider, and even getting certified as a School AI certified educator, as well as their social media links. You can search all of the spaces that are available by simply clicking in there and then hitting enter after you put in your keyword terms. You also have favorites. Anything that you have favorited will show up here. Anything that has been shared with you directly and any of your creations, you have quick links for those. At the very top is a navigation window that bring you back here to the launch pad. Under spaces, you'll see that you can discover thousands of different spaces that have been created by school AI educators, as well as educators in the community. Um, you can create your own spaces. And then here you can manage all the sessions that you're using with students with the AI um, chatbots and spaces you've created. You also will see tools and you will also see assistance. So what I'm gonna do real quick here is go to spaces and I'm gonna click on discover. And so these again are chatbot driven spaces for your students to utilize. Um, many of these have been created and ready for you to use. When you go into one of these, whether it is a bell ringer, an exit ticket, or any of the other spaces for everyday use, um, what it does is it provides you the opportunity to then customize it for your own particular needs. Um, and then from there, you save it and you have your own instance of those particular spaces for you to use with your students. Below that, you'll see that there are also subject area tutors. These are K through 12 tutors, but you can narrow it down. If you don't narrow it down, when your student interacts with one of these tutors, the first question it's going to ask the student is what grade are you in? And it will tailor its responses and its tone um, and language based upon that grade level. And then again, some more featured collections, those created by school AI using teachers. Some featured creators here, and you can also search by subject area, and then some featured experiences. And then again, they highlight some down here that you can take a look at and then create a space. Now, also at the very top, you can search for spaces based upon a particular common core strand. There we go. California, grade level, and let's say I pick sixth grade subject. And as you can see, there's a long listing of subjects to choose from. So if I choose sixth grade mathematics, from there, it's going to give me strands of ratios, proportional relationships, standards for mathematical practice, expressions and equations, and so forth. So if I were to go in here and choose statistics and probability, so as you can see, they've got four listed here right off the top developing an understanding of statistical variability. And so these you can open up, and then if you wanna make adjustments to them, then share them with your students, you can. So from here, I'm gonna to go to tools and the navigation tools menu will take you to the tools page where you can see that you can generate lesson plans, multiple choice quizzes, rubrics, worksheets, um, time-based activities, IEPs and IEP goals, story word problems, um, newsletters, syllabi, vocabulary lists, course outlines, performance tasks, etc. cetera. Um, because you accept the invite from us, if you do, you will be able to generate as many different 
um, documents in here, issues like, and then go back to them. They'll be listed right here. They'll also be listed down here. And you can go to those over and over again. The free accounts will allow you to generate, but only so many of these documents. Whereas if you accept the invite from Tulare County Office of Education, there is a persistence to um, all of those documents and there's no limit to the documents either. You can go back to them um, and open them up and reuse them over and over again. Back to the launch pad. Now, lastly, in the navigation menu is assistance. When you click on assistance, you'll see that these are for educators. It includes a co-teacher chat bot. You can ask it help with anything you'd like. Um, using artificial and intelligence and education coach, a common core expert, a curriculum coach, a digital literacy coach, an essay grading assistant, field trip coordinator, project-based activity expert, and even a research assistant. These are ready to go. They're already formulated, formatted. You don't have to worry about any prompts. Just simply ask questions and it will respond as a coach or a co-teacher, an assistant, and so forth. All right, going back to Launchpad. So I'm gonna conclude here. This is just your basic introduction to what's on the screen, how to navigate to it, and just really quickly how to get into any of these resources and or share them.